at Dan Baroque. I'm so happy to be with you again from sunny California. I am loving the weather. Today I want to talk to you about prebiotics, probiotics, and antifungals. What are they and do I actually need them? Prebiotics are the fertilizer for probiotics, which are good bacteria. You're going to find prebiotics in Jerusalem artichokes, the skins of apples, onions, garlic, bananas, beans, and chicory root. Probiotics are live bacteria that you're going to find in dairy products, supplement form, and fermented foods such as sauerkraut and kimchi. Antifungals can be herbs or items such as powder arco, black walnut, oregano oil, caprylic acid, and these knock out yeast overgrowth, which is known as candida, parasites, and bad bacteria. Now what we're dealing today is an epidemic of dysbiosis an imbalance to good and bad bacteria in the gut. So my first approach with everybody is to really think about doing a 90-day program such as the Candida Cure. I think that when you've got the aches and pains, anxiety, depression, fatigue, probiotics are not strong enough to wipe out a history of 30, 40, 50 years of bad habits. It's better to jump into doing a 90-day program with antifungals, and some other supplementation I recommend so that you really kind of hit the reset button and get a clearing field of just getting back into balance, vibrant energy, get your memory back, the brain fog gone. But if you're not up for doing a detox program, then the minimum I would suggest is to supplement with probiotics. And there's great companies such as Renew Life, Garden of Life, that'll have strains of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. I'm really not into doing dairy products because it fuels candida overgrowth. And fermented foods I do like, but more after a 90-day program because sometimes initially it can create more of a histamine or allergy response where you're more gassy and bloated in the beginning. But if you're not willing to do that detox program, then consider probiotics because I feel that 70% of your immune system lies in the GI tract. And so you need some protection today because of the elements from the food, air, water, our stress, medications, and the times we just don't eat well. Because the main things that are gonna throw this gut out of balance, food-wise, alcohol, sugars, dairy, gluten, and corn. Now, as far as supplementing with prebiotics, I really don't feel that's necessary. I think if you're eating a variety of foods, getting enough fiber in the body, then you really don't need to add a supplement of a prebiotic. So I hope this gives you some clarification. Until next month, make it a good one. Go to my website and sign up for my free newsletter. There's also a lot of great information to educate yourself and discover more about my books and my supplements.